actually open a can of worm. The abduction of Uche Mosu has exposed the mastermind, of course, behind insecurity in Imo State. Of course, they used to tag IPOB whenever anything happens in Imo State. But Chinekedna has exposed them. Chukwo Kikabiyama Abago Hanao. And if you're looking at this article, of course, or should I call it a press release, if I may, it says an abduction of Uche Mosu has exposed the masterminders of insecurity in Imo State. And then it goes as follows. We, the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by our great leader, Jindu Mazinam, the colonel, condemn the abduction of Mazi Uche Mwosu in the church. This is another vindication that IPOB and the Eastern Security Network, ESN, are not responsible for the numerous attack, abductions, and kidnapping in Imo State, contrary to false accusations and propaganda by Hope Ozodima and his co-travelers. The incident has also further confirmed the complicity of Hopo Zodima and the APC party in the insecurity going on in Imo State and Southeast region. But for the dexterity and fighting spirit of Mwosu's family and associates, Hopo Zodima, his co-travelers and some infamous media houses would have, as usual, pointed accusing fingers at ESN. IPOB and unknown gunmen. But God Almighty Chukwoki Kabiyama have exposed them uh, this time around. All right. Let me continue and finish reading uh, this. And then, of course, he goes ahead to say, but for the dexterity and fighting spirit of Mwosu family and associate, Hopus Odima, his co-travelers, and some infamous media houses would have, as usual, pointed accusing fingers at ESN, IPOB, as well as the unknown gunmen. But God Almighty Chukwoki Kabiyama have exposed them this time around. It will not be a surprise if by tomorrow, Hopus Odima fingers Uche Mwosu and his in-law, Rocha Zokorocha, as the sponsors of IPOB and ESN, unknown government and insecurity in Imo State. We know his antics and such options may not be out of the table. For the um for the umpteen time, the single individuals cannot sponsor IPOB. We are a global movement, and millions of our family members, home and abroad, remain the source of our sponsorship. We have never hidden this fact because we are not a secret or a terror organization. IPOB is well grounded, and of course, we don't need any Okorocha or Uchemosu, even Hope Ozodima or any politician for the matter, or rather to be sponsor or rather to sponsor us. We have no dealings with corrupt politicians and people with questionable source of wealth. It's now transparently obvious to all who the masterminds of the abduction and killing of many traditional rulers and religious leaders, including politicians in Imo State and other parts of Southeast are. It is also now clear who created unknown gunmen to demonize and implicate IPOB and ESN operatives. God Almighty Chukwokika Biyama, who designed this fight for Biafra freedom and independence, has always vindicated us and will continue to vindicate IPOB and ESN. Of course, this was um, compiled by Comrade Emma Powerful. He is the Media and Publicity Secretary of IPOB. As you can see, this has to do with the event that happened on the 26th of December, which is Boxing Day, when they went to the house of God and they, cons uh, they consecrated the place and then, of course, abduct abducted Uche Mwosu, the son-in-law of Okorocha. And then, of course, by the grace of Elohim, they were exposed because the next thing they would have done is to accuse IPOB and ESN. And, of course, Vanguard has carried the news as well.
if you look at vanguard what they have to say with regards to the incident that's the vanguard of yesterday they said finally ipob reveals it's sponsored <laughs> of course the sponsor of ipob are the people so uh, let me read a bit of it and then of course we will start to summarize after many years of inquiry the indigenous people of biafra ipob has finally revealed those that support and finance its activity in a statement signed by his spokesperson, Emma Powerful, IPOB averred that no single individual can sponsor the organization because we are many, because we are everywhere, because we are massive, the greatest mass movement in the whole wide world and this planet they call Earth. The organization headed by Mazen Nam Dekano stated in its latest statement titled, Abduction of which Wosu has exposed the mastermind of insecurity in emo state. So this is what Vanguard is saying. They are re-echoing on the press statement that we have, of course, dished out to the members of the public and the entire world to bear us witness that the mastermind of um, insecurity in emo state is definitely not IPOB, neither is it ESN, but rather Uche, um, um, uh, <laughs> hopeless Ozodimba, and of course his co-travelers. So that is just the way it is. And of course, before we go, before we go, my brother Mazu Kanunta. I don't know if you can hear me, Mazi. Mazi Kanunta, please go ahead. Good evening from here. Yes, Mazi Ketuku. Good evening. They were watching. Hello, dear friends. Good morning. Good afternoon and good night, according to your time zone. My name is Kano Takano. I'm from Isama Farukuma I have been listening to your to the program as it's progressing. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother, for giving me this opportunity to come in to contribute. I want to tell dear friends one particular thing, a very simple thing. What is playing out today is very funny in the sense that it's like those days when we were little children. If you have been asked to go and fetch water in the stream while you are going with your clay pot in your head, all of a sudden you will see a grasshopper that will fly over you. You will drop everything and start eating grasshopper. Forgetting that you are supposed to you are meant to go to the stream to fetch water and not to go and chase grasshopper. That is exactly what is playing out today. Some people believe that they are part of this movement. But one leg is inside, one leg is outside. Like the man that spoke and said, when you go and click on these people's, you know, website or even on the on their programs. It's costing five dollars. Absolutely. That means a lot. That tells our people that they are making fools even more richer than they themselves. Because they want to go and listen to gossip. My honest opinion is this we have things now in Biafra land that can occupy us from now to the end of next year. And what is that? Look at what is happening in Dimbo State. Since how many months now? Killings, kidnapping, extortion, cannibalism, and all whatnot. There are people who are responsible for this. And the solo human wanted. We were able to catch Hope was on Sunday. Unboxing the 26th of December. That was when we discovered where our problem was coming from. There we have to pay much attention to. If we start discussing things that are very relevant without mentioning the names of these charlatans, these fools who did not so, but they want to reap, then we can make we can move ahead speedily. 
But when people keep talking about them, that means you are not improving. In this Halo platform, when we speak, we say the way it is. We don't care whose ox is called. Nobody cares. You say the way it is, and that is the fact of it. That is the fact of the matter. Some people want to paint their words and make it look more beautiful. No, we don't do it that way. Say the way it is. Please, what we have to do is just to ignore all these people. Watch out. They are always out for the gossip. If you say one thing, they will pick it and start talking about it. You think something is happening. Just to attract most people who are confused, who don't know where they're heading to. It's a very simple thing. A very simple one. If you want to continue listening to these idiots, I call them idiots, continue doing so. But don't forget, your villages are in a great danger. Your own siblings, your relations, your uncles, they are all in a great danger. Because you are listening to idiots. Where well, you have to use the opportunity to talk and tell the world what is happening. You are gossiping, talking about people that are irrelevant. These are people that sit down and believe that the world rotates around their kitchen. Because you are opportune. You have Facebook. You can put that on your phone. You sit down and be talking junk. And people are sitting down listening to you hours. That is absolute madness. Mazi, I would suggest. Let us. Let us. Make use of our time to deal with zoo because zoo is crumbling as it is now. Do you know how many people that are being killed in the northern part of Nigeria? I can guarantee you by next year that the northerners are going to feed on shit because the bandits, the late Buhari brought into Nigeria, they've taken over the north, they've taken over part of north, they've taken over the northern part of Nigeria from Yobe. From Sokoto, from Zamfara State, they have sacked all of them from their villages. Things that are happening, don't even see it in the newspaper. They don't write about it. And that is how it is. If you listen, if you follow closely what they do, two days ago, they published something and said, that was from the Guardian newspaper. I tweeted again, I tweeted about it. They said that Nigerian soldiers. In fact, the headline started that Namde, Namde is a notorious IPOB leader and ESN leader. That was the headline. If you open the, if you go down the newspaper to read downwards, you will hear that they are referring to one person they called Godwin Namde. They said that the military arrested that this man is an IPOB leader in Enugu State. If you go back to the other newspaper in Sahara, it was a different thing altogether. But today, from inter-society, they revealed, like I tweeted, that they went and attacked people during the Christmas Eve without knowing what was written there. Today, it was confirmed by Sahara newspapers that actually, that these military men went to the red churches in Enugu State during the Christmas Eve. At the end, they ended up killing two people in that. But they came out and turned the story around and said that they arrested IPOB members. And so most people fell for that very news. These are the areas we have to go in. You announce, please. You are there. Tell them what they have to do. Let people go on Twitter. If you cannot tweet, retweet. If you are tweeting, back FCDCO. That is Foreign and Commonwealth Development Office in UK. They should be informed. State Department should be aware of this. United Nations should be aware of this. European Union should be aware of this. It's very important. That is the only way we can defeat Sue and defeat these handlers they sent to us to be distracting us. Because if you don't have anything to talk about, that is when you give them that opportunity to come in and be talking rubbish. Analyzing things they don't even know. If you love me, you don't do things 
to show, to portray that love you have for me. That means you're not for me. Forget about what everybody's saying. Forget about what people are saying. When you look at the real people, you know. But we should not allow people to use their social media platform to deceive us. Unless those, they are giving money to be talking or to be writing, to be retweeting whatever thing they post. It's either you are in or you are out. You cannot be in, you can't be a Biafran and be a, at the same time be an Idu Biafran. It is not possible. So we should try to scrape this thing off completely because these people are irrelevant. They are here and I'm sure they will die here because they don't think of tomorrow. Most of them, they never, they have never seen life before. So they believe they came into wherever they are. There is 24 hours light. There is running water. They felt that they've arrived. So we should ignore these people and do the needful. Thank you very much, Mazi Kechko, for the good job you people are doing. And I wish you Thank people you very much. a happy new year in advance. Same Thank to you, Mazi Ndewo. All right, we you. must continue. And that is Mazi Kanon uh, Okorocha has 